Hello. It's me, DIY Bronwyn. I found these at the Dollarama. This is what I'm doing in my room here. I have this that I've painted. I have a little bit of gray on here. I start with the white over top. I use a white chalk paint over these and these come right off the wall. So I, cause I'm a renter and I had to make sure. And if not, it's a small room. I could probably re-sand and, and uh, re- I, I can do that. My son was a, a drywaller, so he, he, he taught me everything too. Um, yeah, so these are neat. They're just peel and stick. They're really nice. And they work great. <laughs> oh, yeah, <hold> <laughs> Alright, see? They're so pretty. I just put one on over here. There's one, this one's a little wonky. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna have to peel him off and put him on again. You get little air bubbles, you gotta be watchful. Watch for the air bubbles. Okay, I just thought I'd pop in and say, hey, hey. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do some DIYs coming up real soon. And I hope that I can get um, involved with the, uh, oh, sorry, glasses, with the uh, Christmas in July. That would be awesome. Um, I just wanna like, send some stuff to people. I don't know. I, I, I have pine cones around here like crazy. I mean like it's pine cone alley. So I'm, I'm not <laughs> not even in camera shot here. I'm like nah, 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 nah. But anyway, so this is my start of my room and it's gonna be this is I've got pictures of my my family up so I'm not really showing that kind of stuff. Um I have pictures and everything and I have artwork from my grandson and this is my special little room. It's my little um, studio, I guess you could say. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, I have cataracts in both eyes. Anybody else have cataracts? <laughs> I'm 56 years old. And I found out when I was 55 years old that at some point I'm going to have to have freaking surgery on my eyeballs. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Fuck. I hate doctors as it is. I really, really. You know what I hate? Doctors, I hate specific doctors that are assholes that will say, uh, you know, I had a guy, and, and this is like 20 pounds ago, at least, say to me, okay, and I'm not, I'm not huge, but, you know, I mean, and I, I had a fucking doctor tell me years ago, when I was skinnier than this, that I was obese. I just wanted to pop him in the fucking head. Like, who talks to people like that? And my ex was with me. We had the appointment together. And uh, he didn't do anything but just say that I was obese and that my problems would be helped with that. And I'm not even fat. Like, if you consider me fat, I guess I'm that small fat. <laughs> Mild fat? Medium fat? <laughs> I don't fucking know. But, um, yeah, so check out um, Odin's Man uh, on... Uh, Rumble, and uh, I'm gonna have a channel in there, I think, too. If it's free, if it's not, I'm not having a channel, I'm not paying for shit. I haven't got the money for that kind of stuff. <laughs> oh There's the hand, okay. Sorry, anyways. So, I uh, also wanted to tell you guys that I got this stuff, it is wonderful shit. It smells just like a bouquet of roses, and I made my daughter a bouquet of roses for her wedding. Uh, her, her bouquet, like her, you know, thing, <laughs> her thing, <laughs> uh, anyways, okay, so yeah, I made the flowers for her, I didn't know she was having bridesmaids, she didn't tell me, and this thing I got at the Dollar Tree, or Dollar Ram, I'm not sure, I think it was the Dollar Tree, but this is really cute, and then I, I noticed, like, look at the little lit, lid in here, so, I put in some rose in there because it's ceramic and you can put like the oil in there and then you can just kind of have it in the room. It's nice. But I could also use it as like a little teeny vase. Uh, right? I thought it was so cute. Um, oh my god. And what do I, I want to show you? Ooh, okay. Um, there's a lady on here called Crafts by Caitlin and she decals everything, right? She And now I'm doing it because look how fun it looks. This is my letter B for me. B for me. <laughs> anyway, so that's the back. Here's the front, and I might, ha I might ha hang it on the wall. On the top, I got the words wildflowers, um, and then I've got the leaves, and then wildflower again, and I've got a whole bunch more little pieces that I can put on it, and I made a couple for my daughter and her, her wife, and uh, 
just uh, I just wanted to touch base with you guys and, and show you and I'm gonna get into this color next I won't bore you in paint while I'm talking to you I'll paint after and I'll just show you what I did um, this is kind of you can kind of see what I'm talking about here I, I start with the white you see it down here so, sorry. I know that's <laughs> there's me juice okay so there's me Mike all right so there it is, sorry, it's just a crap view. I'm just moving my, my tablet around. I have, I have a tablet stand now, so I'm gonna have to do some videos where I am much more professional for you guys. Mm -hmm. yeah. So here's the gray, and what I'm gonna do is mix it with a little bit of baking soda, which I thought was shit. And I was like, how the fuck do you make chalk paint with that? I was watching Olivia, and she's Olivia's romantic everything. She's romantic and lacy and gorgeous. She's beautiful. <laughs> I love her, she's like, yes. I have 120 new DIYs for you. <laughs> and we're all like, mm, yes, yes, yes. And she's she's got like hours of video footage. Oh, sorry, I'm getting hot. Sorry, sorry. And tomorrow I have a dress appointment, but I'm up late. Oh. But yeah, so I'm gonna use this stuff and I'm gonna put baking soda in it, just like she does. And it really does make a really cool effect. One of the things that I notice is when you touch these after, they actually feel more like wood because of the baking soda textures, kind of, a little bit. I didn't put a lot in, but I put enough in so that you can actually see it. So this will be my next step, and then I'm going to go in with like some blue, because I want to make it look kind of like that old weathered blue fencing that you can see in your beaches. Um, it's not great. Oh, excuse me, but it always, you know. Oh. <laughs> um, I just wanted to say, Thank you so much for everybody that has subscribed to my channel. I'm just a little old lady <laughs> at this point anyways. But thank you so much, all of you. And uh, I'm, I'm having a good day today. I'm just my second video I'm making. But I just wanted to say hello again and uh, and show you the, uh, the paneling stuff. And like I said, I got this at Dollarama. So Dollarama is kind of like I think your Dollar General would be in the United States. But we're in Canada, and I always thought that we weren't allowed to get YouTube money. But then I found out from my daughter-in-law, she said, oh yeah, you can make money on YouTube. I was like, really? Hmm. Huh. I mean, you gotta have like a million subscribers for that shit. I've got 36 <laughs> to me. Woo! It's so, so cool. For the first while, when I did like one or two videos, like a year, because I was just, I, I just went on it and then I just kind of did stuff and I didn't really tape it. But I did one, one thing where I made a moon and I don't know, I was on there. I have a couple of different videos and I just kind of, I want to erase the very first ones because they're so crap. But I don't know, like there's so many creators on here, and yeah, Odith and Smith, the reason I tell you that is because they demonetize people if you say the wrong thing. That's why I don't give a fuck, I'm just going to swear and be myself and do what the hell I want, because it's just my channel. If people don't want to watch, don't watch. And I even say, don't, don't let kids watch, because I do swear, and I, I, you know, like I can't swear all day when I'm, <laughs> when I'm with my grandson, you know, so while, he, while he's at school and I'm making videos, I can say, fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> I <laughs> you know I'm bad. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys. Look, it's my little giraffe egg cup and he's smoking a pipe. <laughs> cool, right? <laughs> oh, I love it. I love all these little things that old. And then what should I want to show you? That's okay. Um, I I'm I was doing a video earlier today and I had like brain fart and I forgot. It's another reason I want to come back and make another one. Um, so th I I made a, a what do you call it? Uh, an account with Shutter and I thought it was just a free trial and I thought I had canceled, but apparently I've been paying like months and months <laughs> worth of it. So hmm, yeah. So then we canceled that. My daughter helped me do that. Her her uh, wife it is. Uh, a person in a really good telecommunications company, I guess you could say. I don't want to say the name. I don't know if I'm allowed to or not. But um, it's very big here now. It's got green in green behind the writing. <laughs> that may help you out. And yeah, um, so I'm just going to um, just gonna say I, I have my little beautiful son, and I, I'm raising my son's son. My son died. And I am going to tell you guys about it, but I, I just can't right now. I mean, I, I can do a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. I told you a little bit before, but I don't want to cry. But um, 
all I can say is just love the people that are in your life because you just never know what will happen. And like literally, I even said in the first tape that I did today, that uh, my my cousin, my beautiful cousin Kim, uh, and her husband, um, obviously her husband, they're a couple, and, and their daughter was in a car ahead of them, and then there was this humongous accident, and they saw their daughter die. Like, oh my fucking God. Like, and I thought that I felt bad. Like, there's nothing that you can do when a loved one dies on you. It's, it's, it's hard. It's so hard. And there's, oh, everybody's like, you know, the whole, hey, yeah, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. It's, it's time. But it's like every day I miss my son. Every day. I'll, I'll never not miss him. I can hear him in my head and, and his laugh. But it's, it's getting faint. And I hate that. I want it back. I want to see him. I miss him. I miss my family too, all my sisters and brothers. I'd love to see you. Um, even if you can phone me on my birthday. <laughs> I won't say when it is, but it's this month. It's my birthday month. <laughs> I know I'm freaking crazy, right? <laughs> so, so I'm stupid, right? <laughs> Check this out. I got my mic, but I don't have it in front of me so you can hear me. Because it's not even turned on or plugged in. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's okay because I'm gonna. I'm just gonna start doing some projects. I um, I'm out of my uh, medicinal uh, weed, which I use. So I've been using um, CBD pills because I don't want to smoke as much because it's bad for your health, bad for your lungs. And I have a cough right now, which I don't like. So, so yeah. But so I'm, I haven't smoked anything for the pain, which I do. That's why I smoke is mostly it's it's anxiety and pain. Um, I was abused when I was growing up. Um, just, you know, just shit happens. Like, I, I don't dwell on it. Um, I've been to therapy, years of it too, years and years. And I mean, I voluntarily went and I'm also on an antidepressant or <laughs> two. <laughs> Fuck me. One is Prozac and one is Cymbalta. I don't know if there's anybody else on it. I remember when my doctor put me on Prozac. He made me read this article and this this person had the worst time on Prozac. They were like, they were so sick and then they had all these ill, like mal you know, maladies, whatever the hell you want to call it. Everything was wrong with them and they considered that it was the Prozac that had started that reaction, which I was like, holy shit. And then so they gave it to me and, and this was like when I was 28, so I'm 56. So all this time, all this time I've been on it. And I mean, to me, I guess it's like a, it, it would be like a schizophrenic needing, I think it's lithium or I'm not sure what they give them. Or even the ADHD, um, which is another thing I have, but I I don't want to be on meth, so I'm not worried about it because I, I didn't realize that's, <laughs> that's the treatment. <laughs> they put you on like Ritalin or meth. Um, it's like an amphetamine and they do that just to, to I guess, supercharge your system. And I know I have that because there's times I just fucking forget everything that I'm doing and I brain farted at the end of the first video that I did today um, when I showed you my egg cup I forgot to bring the other one down it says I'm excellent <laughs> oh my goodness look I'm a star I'm a star if I put this on my door will I get to be a movie star alright boys and girls I showed you my favorite things earlier. Um, leave me some comments. I would love to know what you think of my videos. Don't mind my crazy decor. I've got marble on the door. <laughs> Wood on the walls. Yeah. Anybody that knows me personally, they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's mom. Or <laughs> that would be my darling. Mm -hmm, yeah. Yeah, that's my mom. Crazy mom. <laughs> I sent her money one time and she's like, mom. She makes this on when she texts. She goes, M M M O O O O Mom <laughs> It's very funny. It's very cute. And uh, and I have a mom who is eighty one years old and in June she's gonna be eighty two years old. So I wanna I I'm gonna do something for her. I don't know what, but I wanna do something special for my mom. I wanna be able to see her, but she lives in Toronto and I can't afford a two hundred dollar train ride for like a day. Because I, I wouldn't be able to go back and forth because I'm raising my grandson. So he, he'd have to come with me or I'd have to have a babysitter, which I can't, I can't afford for like two days. That's like, oh my God. But you know what I mean? Like, so life goes on when you're making other plans. It's fucking so true. So, so true. But I got to say those uh, CBD pills, they're probably, they help. They really do. They 
freaking will like they make you feel like you've had like a puff but you but it's just basically just a pain relief which is that's all i'm looking i just need the pain relief i don't i'm not really well i mean i like the high too i'm not gonna lie i just uh i like pot <laughs> and hash i'm so bad but don't listen to me and i would never do that in front of my grandson ever just so you know and i mean only reason only reason i say it is because for truth we in canada it's legal here i have a prescription from a doctor anyway so i'm totally legal um go outside smoke a little doobie and you know in the dark i don't want my neighbors to know <laughs> meanwhile i walk outside in my in my complex and i was I'm like oh somebody else is smoking something really good <laughs> but hey you know this is the way it is babies well thank you guys for coming again and watching my videos this one didn't really even have a plot line or anything I just wanted to show you my wall and I'm still working on it and I am gonna keep doing all my projects and all my all my little jars are getting filled with stuff <laughs> like I have all this wooden stuff I can work with. I have these little hearts. I can't wait. It's just fun to create. And oh, and there's so many people I keep forgetting to mention. Like, oh, Blue Guns and Roses. Oh my god, she's so cool. I think her name's Megan. Um, and I love, have you ever seen Vivian Tries? Oh my god, you've got to watch her. She's a dynamo. She's so funny. I just wanted, like, I just love her. She, I want to go on a cruise with you, girl. You're so funny. And she went on a cruise. I don't know if she went on one before, but she said, hey, if I get so many subscribers, maybe I'll go on a cruise, something like that. And I laughed. But I, I was already a subscriber before, so it's not like I can unsubscribe me and then subscribe for her. But you know what I mean? So she, and I, we, I was hoping in the comments, I was like, yeah, but let's get her, get her things up. And everybody that I know online, I try to get their views up. Um, and, and they are going to cancel you if you say stuff that they don't like. But I'm not on here to make money. I'm, I'm just, you know, I've I'm, I'm got a disability. I have like, health issues big time. Um, but that's okay. I mean, I'm, I'm fine. It's just that I, I can't work. So I have an actual disability. So it's, it's, you know, an actual thing. But I do try to keep myself busy. And I do artwork and I do lots of crafts and stuff and I'm gonna do in in July I decided myself whether I, I don't think I'm I don't think I'm a big enough channel to do this, the stuff with the ladies that are doing it in July and that's cool it really is uh, that's cool I'll watch it all though because they come up with the best stuff but one of those little things okay so last year I saw this lady and she had these pieces of wood that she put on a board so she had one two three and it then she made a the top was black and then she put another little piece of wood over it so and it was it was large so it stood bef beside your door and it was um glued down to a board so it stood like a sign and there was like i said a couple of boards and and it was just beautiful like it um what the hell was it that she did though oh god damn. oh yeah she made like snowmen out of it that's right Ooh, sorry <laughs> what the hell is going on some people say you get like this fog but i just get forgetful but i can recite my phone number from when i was 20 when i lived in toronto <laughs> all right so so they were big and they were neat and you, you just sectioned it off black on top then you have white at the bottom and then you draw on the face and he's a snowman and there are there were three of them and it was like a little snowman trio and I thought, okay, cool, but what if, and I mean, these are just little pieces I took and I, and I this is, it needs to be sanded a little bit more. And I'm going to paint this black and I'm going to make another one, but I'm going to make it miniature or I can make it so that it's got the little loop on it and we can put it on the tree. And they, it's so cute. You just, you just paint it black and then you get this little other stick to go with it. Oh, hold on, I got one here. This is like a mini one, but it got wet. So um, that's why I'm making more, and it got kind of t disheveled here. But it's very cute, and if you put a little loop on, you can put that on your tree. This is a really bad one, but it was me and my grandson, and then, then there was water, and it, tri it dripped on his thing. So, oops. But it's special to me. I don't care. And we drew on a, a carrot nose. It was fun. But anyways, yeah. Oh, sure. I got lots of projects to do, and I have lots to show you. And thank you for joining my channel. Each and every one of you, I totally appreciate it. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Oh, 
go see Mike versus everyone. Go see Z Education. Go see Odinsman. He's got like four channels, uh, a couple of different ones. Like, and then uh, some of these people are on Patreon and Rumble and other uh, platforms, which I get. Um, I just like I have to have content, so I'm trying to create content. But I mean, I'm gonna, my life itself is content. I was, uh, believe it or not, uh, I was abused um, sexually while I was a little girl, and it really affected me, and I and it really hurt my feelings. <laughs> I don't know. It was, and it was really weird to, to hang around men. It was like I thought I remember men were perverts, <laughs> which they fucking are, but <laughs> not in a bad way. Like it's just that way back then. So like I've had I've had so many issues that I've tried to overcome. And to me, I don't know, YouTube's a really fun outlet because I'd love to watch it and I'd love to see all these other people that are having so much fun and they're enjoying their, their lives and just being real. And I just wanted to be real too and tell you everything about what happened with my son and, and all the things that I want you to know. But I just, I guess I kind of do it in little increments, small little, little times. But I thank you so much for subscribing and I hope you have the best day and you look so cute today. <laughs> oh, call me Chris. Go see her too. She's a riot. And Spooky, uh, Selena Spooky Boo, I think her name is. She's funny as fuck. You should watch her too. She's got, she has cameras in her house and she sleepwalks. And she's funny as ever. I just about died one day watching her. I couldn't even believe it. She's, she's fast asleep and she's shoving books down her pants and she's walking around. And I think her husband was like laying there with his one eye open going, Hmm. What you doing? <laughs> oh my gosh, she's a hoot too. Um, and I love how they make all these like uh, little thumbnails and it makes you go, oh, you gotta see. Because the one's like, you know, um, we're not together. And it's not really that they didn't break up or whatever. <laughs> it's just like you guys are like doing that thumbnail bait, bait and switch thing. <laughs> I get it, I get it. And these guys are so much, they've got like real traffic on their channel. So they're actually making some YouTube cash. Hola, si senor, I'm so good, I'm so happy. That's good, I love it. Um, I do little impressions too. I, when I do, if I do a voice, it's not to, to mock. I, I like, <laughs> my mom, <laughs> when I was growing up, my mom, every time she'd be like around uh, Oriental people, that's what we used to call them. Now it's Asian, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't want to offend anybody, I promise you. But she would, she would, she would imitate the shopkeeper. But she was doing, she, she did it because she liked the shopkeeper. She didn't do it because she was trying to embarrass him or demean him in any way. And she would come to the house and she'd be like, oh, I went and I saw this little Japanese guy. She'd be like, oh, he took like this. He, he. And she, she goes, <laughs> I don't know, she goes into like this thing where she's, she's pretending she's him. And so she's doing this little Chinese voice. So now I, in my head, have this little Chinese voice. And then, and then I also have like so many other voices, but not not, not like voices in my head, but you know. Anyway, I got all these characters, and I want to show you some some of my stuff. And I I want to. There's so many things I want to do. Um, like tell you about my life. I told you a little teeny tidbit there. Um, I I believe I have recovered. I I think I've gotten pretty much over it. But I mean, at this point, I'm 56. I've been single for three freaking years, which. <laughs> I, I met a guy on TikTok. <laughs> what a dumbass I am. <laughs> He's probably from Nigeria, but what are you going to do? I mean, they need love too, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know. I hate it though because you get catfished on every social media platform. And they tell you that they look like this. And then you see them in real life. They don't look like that at all. It's like that, that girl that got caught. They call it in 4K. <laughs> She's a, a, a Chinese or Mandarin girl and she's online all the time and she looks so skinny and pretty and thin and the whole bit and then you see her in 4k and she looks she's got the exact same outfit on but she's like my my size but when she puts this filter on and makes herself look skinny and she's like oh I know and she talks so sweet and it's just hysterical that like I don't know the, the the things that you can do the voices and stuff like I I, I got Russian voices I've got you know like uh, I've got one, one, there was a show we watched when I was a kid, and there was this one guy, and he'd come in, and he'd be, I think it was Colonel Clink on Hogan's Heroes, he was like, eh, we are not Nazis, but when we whistle, you will dance. 
<laughs> and I was like, oh my God. And I saw it to Carol Burnett show. God, uh, I don't know if she's dead. So many people are dropping dead right now too. And part of me is worried because there was so much stuff in the COVID vaccine that I didn't, uh, I didn't realize. And so that some people are having bad reactions and some people have actually gotten very sick and died. But they don't think, they don't know for sure what it's from. But it's very telling that they're all having these blood pressure issues, health, uh, uh, lung health issues, heart issues, myocarditis, all that kind of stuff. And they didn't have anything like that before. And I personally have had um, like a look at my heart and my valves and I don't have any blockage. But that was like probably 10 years ago, maybe even longer. So I should probably go back. But, and I have high cholesterol, so I have to take freaking pills. I'll, like, I have seven bottles of pills. I'm, I look like, I, I couldn't leave home. I, I have too much medication I gotta travel with. <laughs> but anyways, so I guess I'm up late because uh, I can't sleep because I don't have any pot. <laughs> but you know what, that's okay. I'm making videos, I'm hanging with the homies, woohoo. All right. I'm going to go now, I promise, okay? I promise, I promise. <laughs> All right, guys, I love you. Stay sweet, be happy, love each other, and have the best day ever, okay?